If you're looking to get more horsepower out of your Nitro Supercharger, you're going to love today's video. Hey, it's Bob with RB Innovations. In today's video, we're going to talk about our auxiliary pressure system, as well as our 50 and 80% overdrive pulleys for the supercharger. The superchargers come with a 30% overdrive pulley. We also offer a 50 and an 80% overdrive. What that's going to do is spool the supercharger up to a faster RPM and give you more pressure going into the engine. That's going to give you more horsepower than the stock 30% overdrive pulley. First you want to remove the supercharger from your engine. Then you're going to go ahead and remove the two screws holding the supercharger assembly together. You want to lock your Allen driver to the internal screw and then turn the external nut with a nut driver. You want to remove the 30% overdrive pulley and then reinstall the 50 or the 80% overdrive pulley. Lock the nut back in place. Now you want to make sure that the pulley and the internal impeller is locked tight together. Give it a spin and everything should spin freely. So if you need to know how to install a supercharger to your engine, check out this video and it'll tell you exactly how to do it. Now if you installed a high flow exhaust, you'll probably notice there isn't enough back pressure to pump enough fuel to the engine. And that's where our auxiliary pressure system comes in. The auxiliary pressure system takes pressure from both the exhaust and the supercharger and forces it into the fuel tank, giving you higher, more consistent fuel pressure. You want to go ahead and remove the screw that's capping off the auxiliary pressure port. Then you want to insert the pressure fitting into the auxiliary pressure port. Using this port, we're going to pressurize our fuel system. Next, you want to go ahead and cut the pressure line to the fuel tank. Next, you want to connect the Y fitting to the line from the fuel tank. Then you want to connect it to the line coming from the exhaust pipe. Then you want to connect the spare line that's given in the kit from both the Y over to the supercharger pressure outlet. As you can see, all the lines are connected up and that's going to give you more pressure going into your fuel cell using both the exhaust and the supercharger pressure. If you need more information, visit our website at rbinnovations.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and definitely subscribe. Thanks for watching.